Early Morning, Chapter 20 A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction Written and Narrated by Mira Rose Artwork by Cat Saturn Art on Instagram. I will have them linked in the description box. Go check them out. Great artist. And we're at chapter 20. You know the drill. If you haven't watched the previous nine parts, they're in the description box. And leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you don't know what to comment, put Marinette's Dilemma. Please enjoy Early Morning, Chapter 20. Marinette Dupang Chang. 6 10 a. M. Marinette's eyes stung as she watched Adrian stare at the box of letters. As it turns out, there wasn't just one letter for Cat Noir. There were dozens, dozens of letters, and neither of them knew which one was dated the earliest. And yet Adrian, who the letters were meant for, rather who was supposed to own these letters, didn't open any of them to check. He just stared at the box. So intensely, Marinette had to count the seconds between his blinks to make sure he didn't die sitting upright. If Tiki were here, she may have cracked a joke, but... There it was again. Tiki. Some part of her missed the little bug. A part of her that wasn't herself. It was her again. (sighs) What kind of crazy fool doesn't want their memories back? So instead of letting herself fall into the abyss of ever-circling angst over her past life, Marinette took Plag downstairs to explore the cheese drawer as she rummaged through the fridge for something sweet. There's nothing like a little dopamine kick to help with stressful situations. Right? Right. She totally wasn't getting something to eat because she couldn't sit there with a literal model chiseled like a statue to worship staring at a box of letters from an alternate version of herself. She just likes sweets. Should one of us be there with him? Marin had asked, catching plague mid-bite. Well mid-inhalation. The creature was Kirby with a different color palette. Nah, he burped, then went back into the drawer. He'll come down when he's ready. Will you? How should she say it? Just be direct? Will you tell me about Tiki? Who, sugar cube? Plague tossed a cube in the air, wiggling around to catch it with his tongue. Sugar cube? Gotta pay me first. You already ate your wages. Sugar cube? Plague obviously pouted at her sidestep. You guys were besties, I think. You think? I might have known who you were, but it's not like she and I got to go on little dates whenever you and Adrikins rendezvoused. You call her Sugar Cube? She has a sweet tooth. So what did she call you? Cheese breath? He belched, unbothered. Nah, she's too by the book for that. Just like you were. She's a rule keeper? And I'm the rebel. For someone chosen because they helped an old man across the street, we sure got lucky to have such good fits. Chosen? Had she ever thought about why she had a miraculous? How she'd gotten it in the first place? Yeah, Master Fu gave you it. Did Adrian never tell you? Marinette closed the fridge door with a sigh. He doesn't tell me much about anything, it seems. He means well, but he's just a kid. He's older than I am, even if I had all of my memories. She crossed her arms and rested her head on the door. 
You're both just kids. Marinette wasn't sure what he wanted to imply, but it was lost to another burp as the Kwame drifted upwards and... through the ceiling. Huh. Could they do that? Add it to the list of things Marinette should know, but didn't. It was about time to check in on her boy, anyway. Marinette skedaddled upstairs, cracking the trapdoor open to peer around the room before entering. He wasn't here. Adrian wasn't here, and neither was the box of letters she'd left in front of him. Great. A cat burglar. Okay, so even if he was Cat Noir, Marinette still didn't like Adrian Agrest. She just disliked him a lot less than she did three hours ago. But she would keep disliking him until he came back to her. Marinette would dislike him if he actually skipped town, leaving her with an empty room and a half-edited story about the person she used to be. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 21 is on the way. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more fanfiction, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!